All right, folks, Pitching Ace 88, we are back. Playing Criminal Case on Facebook, case number 14, chapter 3, Inner City of Pacific Bay. Let's head on. We don't want them to burn down the church. Oh my gosh, Ace, Frito has taken over the victim's church. He says he's going to burn it to the ground to mark the beginning of the revolution. What the? Somebody's got to explain to that lunatic that anarchism isn't just about burning everything to the ground. Come on, Ace, let's go stop him. People of Inner City, you have been brainwashed by the capitalist state. Let's send them a message that we've had enough. Together, let's burn it all down. Hold it right there, Mancini. You're not burning anything. You think you pigs can stop me? I refuse to obey your rules. Okay, let's change tactics here. Put the Molotov cocktail down, or the only fire you'll come in contact with is on your funeral pyre. Okay, okay. Until I've completed my mission, my life is more important than this church. So I surrender, Commissioner Ace. Alright, spin any way you want, Mancini. You're still a coward. You're right, Ace. Let's lock him up. I don't think he's the murderer. He's There's something completely wrong with him, but he's not the murderer. Darn, I hate anarchists. And we can either question Frito now or keep him stewing in his cell while we go check out the fight club. Your call, Ace. Holy Bible, yikes. Uh, we're going to make him stew a little bit. Normally I don't do this, but because I'm not really a big fan of this guy, um, <laughs> we're going to do that later. Randy, I like the outfit. Oh, cool. Alright, so that's obviously the locked box. Uh, so we got a banana down here. Stereo there, water bottle. That's not I don't think it's that though. Oh it is that, okay. Uh ping pong paddle. There it is. And torn photo, which would be on the ground somewhere. There it is. Cool. Well, Ace, what'd you do find this time around? A locked box and a torn photo? I don't know why people systematically tear up their photos around these parts. It just makes you more curious about them. And it's true. And I'm guessing this lock isn't going to stop you from opening up that box, right? Nope. So thank you guys all for liking, commenting down below. Um, also, of being very understanding um, of the lost footage. Um, luckily, I was able to recover some of the conversations, but it wasn't in sequential order. Um, Kind of made me sad that I had to do that, but uh, that's a you. Yeah, that was easy. Because you knew it wasn't a J. Whatever it looks like, it's definitely not. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. You cracked open that locked box in no time, and there's an empty envelope inside. Huh, it's a little bit of an anti-climax. You're right, Ace, since the envelope was in the box, it must have been important. Do you think you can recover the writing on it? Really? Do you think I can? <sighs> Amy's a lot more trusting in my beliefs. Whoa! <laughs> I'm sorry. Smooth going, you restored that photo in no time, and it's of Shelly. Yikes, this can't be unseen, and you're right, there's a message for my Angus. What the? Shelly didn't just fight the victim in the tournament. She also fancied him? That woman is full of surprises and contradictious. You're right, Ace, this raises a million questions, so it might just be easier to go ask Shelly about this directly. Yeah. That's not what I think of when I think of just an amazing physique. Oh, it's in Russian. Oh, you got maybe you got paid to throw the fight. A hey, nice going recovering the ink on the envelope, Ace. Now we can either learn Russian or send this to the lab for translation. I could probably have that translated on Google in less than like um, an hour. Actually, let's go to the lab. Let's go to. I, I didn't put that up there long enough, but I'm wondering if you guys actually know what that says. Because I do know I have a couple of um, Russian friends. 
watching this. I should have left it up there more for you guys. Sorry. If you guys can pause it, hopefully you guys can check it out. What the heck are you doing with my picture? You better give me answers unless you want answers to my fists in your face. Easy now, Shelly. Commissioner Ace found your picture in the Fight Club. Were you and Angus lovers? Well, I thought so. I met Angus at the gym a few weeks back. He encouraged me to take up jump rope exercises. So we started fighting together for practice. It was so romantic. Every punch to the face was like a kiss. I was so passionately in love with him. I hit the hardest, and I would win every single time. But just before the tournament, Angus told me he never really loved me. It was all a lie. I fight out of passion, and with that gone, I couldn't fight at all. He knew the only way he could defeat me was with his words. And now, I hope that liar burns in hell, or rots in hell. Lover scorned. She definitely seems like she's, she'd be like a prime candidate for this. Alright, Psycho, what's going on? You should have let me burn down that church. I was trying to free the people from this capitalist state. Well, killing a priest wasn't enough. You also had to burn down his church? I didn't kill that priest. But seeing his body strung up inspired me to take action. Come on, admit it. You anarchists are well known for being anti-religious. You just chose the easiest option to get noticed. Inner chaos doesn't act like the rest of them. I lead. I don't follow. But people like you will never understand. You've been brainwashed to only see what they tell you. Well, what I'm seeing right now is an idiot. And that seems about right to me. But fine, if you don't want to talk about it, we ain't gonna let you out. Wait. If you're going to keep me locked up for long, can you at least get me my jump rope? Exercise is good for the mind. Alright folks, I'm going to wait 9 hours, and I'll see you guys back here. It's been Pitching Ace 88. Au revoir. Alright folks, Pitching Ace 88, we are back. Criminal case on Facebook, Pacific Bay, Inner City, case number 14. Let's figure out what this says. Hey there, Ace. I translated the rush, the Russian on that empty envelope you found locked in a box at the Fight Club. And it says, for the center, $50,000 to make sure you go down in the second round. Yeah, you're right, Ace. The center was our victim's name during the tournament, so somebody bribed him to cheat during the final round. And surprise, surprise, a partial fingerprint on the envelope allowed me to positively identify Nikolai Kamaroth as the one who wrote this. So Nikolai wanted uh, Angus to lose, but why? Yeah, you're right, Ace. All the odds were against Shelly. So, Nikolai would have made a fortune if the victim lost. But if that's true, Angus won the tournament, so he obviously didn't listen to Nikolai and instead took the money and ran. Yeah, I agree. If Angus double played Nikolai, you can bet the Russian would have wanted him dead. Let's go talk to him. Yeah, I'll bet you he is pissed. And the plot thickens. Nikolai, Cl Commissioner Ace, has just found out that you paid Angus to lose the final match. And what? You're here because I fixed a fight? Big deal. In my community, I have to give the appearance of always winning against all odds. That way, people will never dare gamble with me. But Angus just did that. He double-crossed you by taking the money and winning. Exactly. I lost my bet and got insulted in the process. I haven't been this humiliated since I was caught doing that jump rope exercises. And so you killed him to send him a message so that you're still the most powerful man here? That Durak deserved to die, but sadly, I did not kill him. Still, if people believe that, it's fine with me. Yeah, he's not the right guy. Ah, uh, I don't know how long I can keep this going without a drink. Why does everybody else get to have fun apart from us? We have a Russian, an anarchist, an Irishman, a surgeon, and a fighter. Huh, sounds like the beginning of a bad joke. Ace, we can't keep people from celebrating St. Patrick's any longer. You need to get back to the parade ASAP. To join the celebrations? No, Frank. To solve the case before all the evidence gets contaminated at the parade. Okay, okay. Come on, Ace. The partying is going to have to wait a little longer. And even if this is one bad joke, we'll be sure to deliver the punchline. Surprise, surprise! We have to go back to the scene of the crime to get the final clues. Shocking. Oh, wow, it's very St. Patrick's Day themed. I love it. Alright, so we got a dog, a 
goodies barrel. That's a helium can, right? That's not the goodies barrel. Oh, it's up here. Gotcha. Party hat. Pumpkin. Boom! Okay, that really wasn't the best. Ahead of, ahead of most people, though. A helium can. Well, don't tell me you're going to blow up some balloons and make funny animals out of them, Ace, because I hate clowns and everything associated with them. Oh, you're right. Roxy did say the killer used helium on the victim, which exploded his lungs. Ace, you're a genius. You just found our murder weapon. But what are those marks on it? Yep, we should collect a sample. And you want to search through the St. Patrick's giveaways? Sounds good to me. It'll help us put us in a party mood. Because believe me, I'll be celebra out celebrating once you've put the killer behind bars. We're so close, I can already taste that first sip of beer on my lips. And believe it or not, that's actually a good idea. I should go get a beer. Don't even know if I have any in the, in the house or in the fridge. You guys will find out in the additional investigation. Maybe I'll have a beer to celebrate. We found an ice pack. Yeah, he's... There are all these bottles in those St. Patrick's giveaways. Instead, you picked out an ice pack? First, you need a drink before getting a hangover, and that's when the ice pack is meant to come in. Oh, you think it's related to our case? All right, let's send it to the lab. I can't wait to see how this leads to our killer. Well, they've probably got bruises, so they're icing themselves. I don't know. That's just my guess. Holy mother of pearl. 15 hours? Calm down there, buddy. Well, to be honest, we don't even know what the heck we're looking for, so I don't really blame them that much for for that. Oh, I also like to thank you guys again. Can't thank you guys enough for being so understanding of me losing some of the uh, of the footage of the last case or the last chapter. Really meant a lot that you guys were all backing me up. Way to go, Ace. I don't know what you managed to collect on that helium can, but I do know that it'll bring us one step closer to a killer. Let's hurry up and send it to the lab. Boom shakalaka. Nine hours, baby. Nine hours. Boom. I was right. Cool. Alright, guys. I'm actually going to wait till you guys get to 200 likes, and then boom. I'm speeding all this up. So, see you guys all in a little bit. It's been Pitching Ace 88. Au revoir. Alright, folks. Pitching Ace 88, and we are back. Put Criminal Case on Facebook. Case number 14 on chapter number 3 of the Inner City in Pacific Bay. I'd like to give a shout out guys to Ann X Helica William, L L O U W eleven, Austrian Gribakowski. Sorry, I am so sorry for your name. That is a lot of letters and there's a lot of uh tildes and stuff on that name. I do not know how to pronounce it. I am sorry. Um and then Perez Ahmed asked me a question, and I always like you guys to ask me questions that you know I could answer in the next chapter. Um, and he asked, what role would I like to play in Criminal Case? If there was, if there was any role I could play, what would it be? Um, m honestly, most my, my role would probably be Russell's. Um, I couldn't be in the morgue. I don't really like seeing dead bodies. Um, I mean, I could be Jones. I could be the sidekick. Um, I could be the chief. I like being the chief. That sounds like a really fun idea. Um, so probably ch the chief or Russell. Um, what role would you guys like? That's a good question. Let me know what role you guys would prefer to do in a criminal case. So, great question, Par Parwes. That was really good. Anyways, we we'll analyzed that ice pack you found among those giveaways at the St. Patrick's Parade, Ace. I found some beer molecules on it, which is what your killer drinks. And since you found it on the crime scene, there's no doubt about it. It belongs to your killer. But I also found some blood serum on it. Now, blood serum is an odd thing. It's a blood, but it doesn't contain any red or white blood cells, so it's of little use. However, blood serum is secreted when the body is bruised. So obviously, your killer was using this ice pack to treat their bruises. So our killer is covered in bruises. With this, you'll be able to catch them in no time, Ace. Darn right. Just need one more, man. And surprisingly, not really surprisingly, we have the next one right there. Well, I looked at the green sediment you collected from the murder weapon, Ace. And the green sediment comes from a plant, just like humans. Plants have DNA structures, and the sample you gave me comes from the clover family. Yeah, it's a four-leaf clover. I dug a little deeper and analyzed the mo molecule marker, and I successfully detected the gene of the four-leaf clover. 
Given the marks on the murder weapon, the killer was wearing a four-leaf clover when they picked up it up to kill your victim. So our killer is wearing a four-leaf clover. Ha. It's meant to bring luck, but that won't stop you from arresting them. We've got them now, Ace. You darn right we do. Okay, Ace, what do you say we go ar arrest our killer and then go enjoy the rest of the St. Patrick's celebrations? I think that sounds like a fantastic idea. Who is it going to be? Now, general consensus is it's either his brother or Shelly. I'm going to guess it's his brother. And it's not. Most of you guys were right in the fact that I believe it is Shelly. Yep, she's got, gr she's got a grease stain. She's got these through. And bruises. So she came back from the other uh, city to murder someone. Very interesting. Shelly Doulard, you're under arrest for the gruesome murder of Angus O'Brien. Oh, cutie, you're jealous. I flirted with Angus, and so you want to get back at me. That's so romantic. Um, nice try, Shelly, but Commissioner Ace has figured it all out. After you lost the fight to Angus, you drank a few beers before confronting him. During the confrontation, you ended up strangling him with the jump rope, before filling him up with helium. Angus got what he deserved. When I arrived in Inner City, it was like a fairy tale. I had found my dream man and my dream job. But during the fight, Angus showed that photo I gave him to everyone. He humiliated me just so I could, just so he could win the tournament. It was meant to be the start of my career, and in that one moment, he crushed my dreams and my heart. They are wounds that will never heal. I thought Angus should experience what it feels like being me, so I decided to blow him up like a balloon. And as I'm sure you can tell, it ain't a nice feeling. Commissioner Ace is right, we've heard enough from you, but I'm sure the judge will want to hear about this. For now, you're under arrest. I don't know why she took away the spine. It's very curious to me. Shelly Dullard, you're being tried for the despicable murder of Angus O'Brien, a priest and a fighter. Um, wait, am I reading that right? Oh, now I understand. The victim had no moral backbone. He cheated a many lot of you. But you can't kill a person who plays with your feelings and m mocks you. If that were permitted, I would have killed a lot of cyber bullies by now. How am I supposed to know what LOL means? But I digress. An officer young confirms that you got a short temper and are potentially dangerous. And as for the grizzly murder, I sentenced you to 20 years. Fine, see if I care. I've never had much luck in this world, and I'm used to it by now. On a final note, I've decided not to condemn you to solitary confinement, but please, don't make me regret it by starting prison fights. Oh, that's interesting. Geez, Ace, I was looking forward to celebrating once this case was solved, but now the mood's kind of gone. Oh, darn it, I forgot to ask Shelly what she did with the victim's spine. I need to start writing things down. But that's right, now this is the third case in which a body part has been mysteriously vanished. Let's recap, shall we? There was a missing heart for a love story, missing lungs taken from a smoke peddler, and now a missing spine taken from a spineless priest. At least the killers are consistent. But you're right. We were led to believe that the missing body parts were because of a Russian-Chinese feud. But this murder has nothing to do with the Russian or Chinese communities. So does that mean we have a psycho going around stealing body parts? And if yes, what do they do with them? Well, you know what, Ace? I kind of need a drink after all. Ah. Want to see Chief Marquez? That's pretty funny. I'm going to keep it there for a little bit. Well, anyways, guys, we need to go to the additional investigation. we got to figure out who is killing all of these people. Not new, or We know who's killing them, who's taking out all the body parts. But anyways, guys, I will see you guys in the next part. This has been Pitching Ace 88. Over and out.